Hello and welcome to the Nice Guarda YouTube podcast show. And we continue in profiling new fantastic projects on technology and business. And uh, on this series, powered by IBM Tech Exchange Summit MA 2024. So I'm excited to continue profiling companies that are pushing boundaries between technology and special case studies about leveraging the different parts of AI and data and other systems. So uh, at this series, we're going to be talking about TD Cinex. And uh, TD Cinex is a company actually uh, that has a huge impact in terms of technology and an ecosystem of partners around the world. And we have here with us Wendy, yeah. that is leading uh, multiple different areas for the company. So I think, well, let's start by telling us a bit about the company sure. and uh, how it works and your ecosystem. Sure, thank you, Dennis. So, well, about TDCNX, we are the leading end-to-end value-added distributor, distributor in the world, but I have to say also in Europe. Uh, so we offer a very big portfolio of products to all our resellers, from data center to the living room, basically, so with additional support and services. In simple words, we empower our global partners to achieve great results uh, with technology. Fantastic. So you mentioned the partner ecosystem. So yes. tell us a bit about the partner ecosystem. You mentioned the world, Europe, uh, a bit how it works as well. So you're right. Uh, and that's part of our great value as a distributor. So the key word here is connect. We are here to connect the vendors with the resellers, the resellers with the vendors, and why not the resellers with other resellers? So we have a huge portfolio of resellers uh, from very large resellers to very small niche resellers, uh, international businesses, everything. So we have more than 60,000 resellers uh, around Europe, uh, global system integrators, services providers, specialized resellers. So we basically connect all the global IT ecosystem and unlock its potential. Um, we are constantly organizing with our team webinars, face-to-face -face events, uh, hands-on workshops, enablement activities. In short, we help the VPs to level up and get proficient in their areas of interest. Wendy, thank you so much for this and uh, congratulations for your work and good success. Thank okay. you, thank you for your time. Hello and welcome to our continuous series uh, this one about uh, TD Sinex uh, on this IBM Tech Exchange Summit MA 2024 special. So we are talking about TD Sinex and you're going to continue talking with Chris Garvey uh, that is going to be telling us about your product. So let's start, um, tell us about the products you offer in terms of databases and TD Sinex. Sure. Um, so, yeah, my name is Chris Garvey. I'm a, I'm a sol senior solution architect in uh, the TD Cinex European team. So, TD Cinex work with a, a, a wide range of uh, vendors, um, be that, of course, IBM, uh, Cloudera, and NVIDIA, and many of the hardware vendors that you probably have come across in, in the marketplace. From a database perspective, we, we work with all the major da data platform vendors, uh, including uh, Cloudera and Oracle. Fantastic. So you're a partner of IBM Watson X, as you mentioned. So how are you leveraging um, AI, uh, the AI platform of Watson X, to engage with AI and your ecosystem, especially as databases become more and more dependent of AI systems? Yeah, so, so Watson X is an open, open platform that gives the ability for partners to develop solutions using both IBM and open source AI tooling. And this is really powerful from a, from a part perspective. So TD Cinex has a number of solution centers across Europe, which partners can use to develop those solutions at zero cost. Um, and these allow the partners to, to, to enable themselves and also to build repeatable solutions. TD Cinex also have a, a large ecosystem of complementary vendors. And these, these include um, NVIDIA and Cloudera. And we work alongside these, these vendors and our uh, technical specialists, both and commercial spe specialists, to help define and create uh, best of breed 
multi-vendor solutions that our partners can take to market. So uh, working with all these vendors and different partners, uh, you have to have a strong governance. How do you manage the governance and the ethics with uh, the data and the AI? The governance is, is really important when it comes to AI. So this, 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 this effectively means ensuring that you know where the data has come from and the data can be trusted. So we can do this using, using many different platforms, but, but at the cornerstone of this is, is IBM and Watson X. So be this using WatsonX.governance to ensure that data is governed correctly uh, and you know where that data is coming from. And then once the model is put into production, to, to make sure that it's yielding the results you expect it to, to achieve long term. And you can use Watson X, Watson X uh, OpenScale to, to deliver this solution. Thank you so much, Chris. It's a pleasure to have you here and good luck for TDC next. Thank you. Thank you. So continuing with the last part of TD Sinex. So uh, I have here Pete Smith. So uh, Pete, tell us first about you, and uh, I have a question here for you. So hi, Dennis. Thanks for having us here. So I'm Pete Smith, a senior business development manager um, who's one of the leaders of the fast track team within TD Sinex. So myself and Chris run that from a commercial and technical point of view, working with IBM partners across Europe, primarily in the data and AI space. Fantastic. So. Working with so much partners and some of the biggest database centers in the world and some of the biggest brands, um, what are the main challenges and opportunities you see with AI, especially as data and AI become hybrid? So I'll, I'll start with the challenges and then hopefully the, uh, the opportunities around that will, will answer some of those challenges. So there's the, the kind of the key ones that you see everywhere, so the ethical considerations, the um, data security, data privacy, um, the lack of transparency of the data. Is that data good enough? So like the, the public AI offerings like OpenAI and ChatGPT, uh, they're not necessarily using completely factual data the whole time. It depends on what data sources they're using. Uh, and we saw recently in the UK, at least, an example of that. So um, taking advantage of the ChatGPT prompt engineering, there was a, a big issue with DPD, who are a delivery firm, where people were asking them to um, basically slate DPD as a delivery service um, and asking them to create poems to bring other delivery services into it um, and then the chatbot was promptly taken down um, so once that was spotted by dpd uh, but it, by then it was all over the news and that's just a, a great example of the, the challenges that there can be <laughs> around ai very important example yeah, yeah. Um, but, th but then that does bring other opportunities as well so looking at enhanced decision making so only using data that can be qualified that is has been uh, looked at by a reputable source, looking at the, using the right models, that kind of thing. Um, so creating personalized experiences in retail, for instance, um, automation, robotics, all that kind of thing. And one of the areas that I think is critical, which maybe doesn't get quite as much attention at the minute, is the advancements in healthcare as well. So looking at different cancer treatments and things like that. So that's a, a space where AI can make a real difference, I believe. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And you personal working with these companies, what do you think, are they prepared for these things? I think some of them are prepared. I think some of them are getting there. And I think a lot are probably underprepared. Um, but I, I see that changing quite significantly over the next probably 12 to 24 months. Fantastic. Thank you, Pete. Uh, an honor to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.